the United States Food and Drug Administration approved the first saliva-based coronavirus test. FDA gave emergency use authorization on April 13 for a saliva-based test providing an alternative to the swab testing which is currently performed. Rutgers University-based RUCDR Infinite Biologics developed a saliva collection method in partnership with Spectrum Solutions and Accurate Diagnostic Labs. The collection of saliva specimens is limited to patients with symptoms of COVID-19 and should be performed in a healthcare setting under the supervision of a trained healthcare clinician. Samples are transported for RNA extraction and are tested within 48 hours of collection. Matthew Peaching, MDCM of the Division of Infectious Diseases at McGill University Healthcare Center says, if shown to be as accurate as nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal samples, saliva as a biometrics offers the advantage of not generating aerosols or creating as many respiratory droplets during specimen procurement, therefore decreasing the risk of transmission to the healthcare worker doing the testing. So the new saliva-based test aims to allow for increased testing and safety for health professionals conducting screening. Currently, testing for COVID-19 involves a healthcare professional inserting a swab into each nostril one at a time to the nasopharynx at the back of the nasal cavity, gently scrapping the tissue to collect material and sending off for analysis. This method is complicated. It needs to be done by a qualified worker wearing fresh gloves and other personal protective equipment, which are in search supply now. Additionally, many areas are experiencing a lack of tests available or a large backlog of samples to process. The collection of a saliva sample requires spitting into a tube, resulting in a much less invasive procedure without trying up large amounts of PPE. And as per the FDA's instructions, the testing would still occur in a healthcare setting under the supervision of a qualified professional. Andrew Brooks, the Chief Operating Officer and Director of Technology Development at the Rutgers Lab said, Saliva testing will help with the global shortage of swabs for sampling and increased testing of patients, and it will not require healthcare professionals to be put at risk to collect samples. Saliva testing will also be important for people who are in quarantine because they don't know how long it will be until they are no longer infectious. According to the source, the Rutgers lab can process 10,000 patient samples per day. The saliva test builds on the existing TAC path sars cov to assay used in existing COVID-19 testing to identify RNA from the virus. According to validation results, provided to the FDA, 60 patient samples taken from saliva and swab tests were in agreement as to the presence of the coronavirus. The agency notes that independent testing by New Jersey State Health Department of 10 samples agreed with RUCDR's findings. USA Today also reports that the saliva tests could be given to patients as soon as April 15 until further notice, the tests can be only be administered by RUCDR in New Jersey.